Hey, it's Brad over here. We're back, and today we are doing a look at untap.in. This is a browser-based, it's not really a software, but effectively for us it is. It's a way to play card games without really owning the cards. Really, this is just a website that stores lots and lots of card images, and then you go into a game and you turn those card images sideways against other players. That's really what card games are, right? Turning cards sideways against each other and figuring out the rules in between. So, here we're going to explain how this actually works. I'm going to explain how to build the deck how to get it over and untap, and how to get your games going. Let's start with building the deck. You want to build your deck on WoW TCG Browser, uh, wowtcgbrowser.com. I already have a deck built up that Woodrow built up, so thanks, Woodrow. We're going to be using one of his decks. This is a PvP mid-range Death Knight Red or Ghoul Master Kalisa. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's say you have your deck. This is the deck I'm going to use. The best way to grab this list is to go over here to the print button. I have it zoomed in so you can see, but you click the print button, and this is the deck list that comes up. And we just want to copy and paste the whole thing, including the sideboard. So I'll grab all this right there. Control C to copy. Now that we've got our deck list copied, we can go over here to create deck. You can see here I have nine. The limit is 10 for free users, so I have one space available. So let's hit create deck. And I think you, the first thing you need to do is skip the title. Scroll down all these decks here. This is the different card games. Make sure you click on WoW TCG. If you don't if you don't do this process where you come down here and click on it, you're, you're just going to end up redoing it because it'll try to import all the cards from a different game. So definitely come down here, scroll down, click on WoW TCG, then go to the top, name your deck. We will call this one Ghoul Master, Kalisa DK Midrange, WoW TCG Classic. You got it. Let's hit Create Deck. Didn't actually do anything. All it did is make a slot named that. So how you actually get the deck list in there, click these three lines, and go to paste deck. Import URL doesn't really work for WoW TCG. It's a much smaller game that works for giant games like Magic. So what you need to do is hit paste deck. Trust me. Go into here and just control V to, to paste everything. There we go. Now we're not quite done yet. We need to do a couple things. We need to first thing, take the hero, remove the hero from this list, and we want to put it in play. All these cards will spawn in our deck. This one will spawn right next to it in play already. Uh, you want this matters because like otherwise it puts your hero into the deck and you have to pull it out like every game So just trust me do it the right way So this is where our hero will go come over here to deck and the next thing we need to do is get rid of all this text That isn't actually cards because it'll try and pull in a card named abilities or hero and it will find something and it's kind of annoying So get rid of that text where it says allies 34 just backspace that out uh, Weapons get rid of that quests get rid of that locations get rid of that Total cards and deck, get rid of that. And then there's a side deck as well. So get rid of the word side deck. And we need to move our side deck or our sideboard to the sideboard window. So let's uh, control X to cut all that out. Sideboard, control Victor to paste it. Great. So we took uh, we, we pasted our deck into the deck list section, got rid of all the random words that aren't actually cards, and then moved the hero to the play section and moved the side deck to the side section. Uh, later on, if you have tokens and all that, you can add that into but this is a simple way to get this starting. Don't check any of these boxes and just hit import. Okay, so it looks like uh, Garrosh did not load in correctly. Uh, maybe there was a typo or something. So um, I typed G-A-R-O just to see if he would come up, and there was. There's one that's spelled Garrosh. It's missing an R, so whatever. Uh, it's, it's just an error. Well, we're working on getting these fixed. You know, it's human labor to fix all of them, so give it some time. Um, if I want to add this to the deck, I can either double click it or drag and drop, but it'll always add four, so keep that in mind. So I want to add this, I only want two, not four. I'll just drag it in, and you can see it brought it in as four, so it's minus minus, set that to two. Now we're done, but we need to save the deck, otherwise this will all disappear. So click the lines, go to save deck. Now the deck is saved. It even picks an image based on... I don't really know what it bases it on, but it picks a card that's in the deck and gives you that image. If you want to change this cover art, just click that deck, click these lines for options, and go to deck options. And then uh, the cover image down here is just a drop down box. Uh, maybe I just want to do Army of the Dead, because that's, that's the card I want to play the most. I don't know, whatever. Uh, save deck. And it's updated the art here. Now, that's how you make a deck from a deck that's already been created. Uh, this website will also pull in cards from Mr. Pandaria. Okay, that's a simple way to get the deck built and imported, so it's ready to play. Now I'm ready to play a game, so I'll click Games, and there's no games going on. If you, if there were, they'd show up right here, but I'll click New Game to start my own. 
Uh, I click a play style, I'll just say optimized, sure, and players. Usually you want to do two players, but I'm going to do this solo for a moment. And you can have a mirror on. Let's, let's turn that off. So here's, here's what it looks like to goldfish your deck solo. Start game. There we go. Now you choose the deck you want to play, and the one we just made is at the bottom here. So click it once. There's my hero. It's in play already because that's how we set it up. And if your hero's not in play, that means you didn't save it or didn't put it in the right spot, and you have to go find it out of the deck. The deck is inserted pre-shuffled. You don't have to shuffle it or anything. And if you're ready to play, there's two ways to go ahead and draw your hand. Um, you can also roll a dice first if, if you're into that. You can come over here and hit roll d20. Like I rolled a 6. I guess I'll go first against myself. Um, come over to the deck if you're ready to draw your hand. You can just click it once and click draw 7. That'll work here. Let's say I don't like this hand, I want to mulligan it. I don't have to drag them all back. I can use this little set of lines here. These are the options for the hand. Click that and just click mulligan 7. Boom, it's mulligan my hand. Now I've got some quests to work with. Whatever, I've got, I've got a hand now. And I'm going to keep this. And if I'm ready to go, maybe I'm. it's my turn since there's only, you know, there's only one player in here. Um, if I'm ready to play, there's a couple ways to actually play the cards. So I can double click it and it'll put it into play for me. I can also just drag the card out of my hand onto the field. That will work. And you can also click this little line here. I think the line indicates like default action for wherever the card is. So if I click the line, the default action is to play it. Now let's say I want to place a resource. Like I don't want this girl, I want a resourcer. I can hit send to play face down. That's how you should really do this. And when your opponents do this, they do not get to see what it is. Even if it looks like it bugs out, they don't get to see the image. So that's how you place face down resources. Um, to tap cards, you can just double click them when they're in play. That's their base function. Or you can click the little line because that's the default function is basically tap or exhaust to turn sideways. So right there, I can you know, tap two cards or pay two and I'll just put this creature into play. Hooray, it's in play now. Alright, so let's say I'm done. It's my opponent's turn. Um, I can press, I use a lot of hotkeys, so I can press E for end turn, and it would end the turn and go back to my opponent. When it's my turn, I can either press X to untap, or I can push the, click the untap button, and it'll untap all my stuff. And then I can either click the deck and tell it to draw one, or I can type C. Just hitting C is a hotkey for draw one. So I hit C, I drew one. Um, great, now let's say I want to place a quest for the turn and maybe this is I've got a death charger so maybe I can target my opponent's thing if you want to target something you can click O so what I'll do while I have this card highlighted I'll tap O and then I can click something else so hi it's, it's hover press O and click something else so I can here I'll shoot my own resources whatever there's lots of hotkeys you can use they're very useful if you want to check out the hotkey menu, it's right here. It's a little keyboard. Just click it, and here's the hotkeys for you. I think the most useful ones you'll use are X to untap, uh, number, and then C to draw that many. Uh, e ends the turn. Uh, J flips cards face down. Like if I wanted to complete this quest here, I could just pay one. And then it's pay two, but this thing makes it one cheaper. So I'd, I'd pay R1, and then I can hover it and press J. J will flip the quest. I can also click once and then go to face down. There's all these different options to do this. Um, and if I wanted to draw a couple cards for the turn, like let's say I completed a quest that says draw four, I would press four Charlie or four C to draw me four cards. Um, some other complicated things, if let's say you have a quest that says something like reveal the top five cards and then you know only pick one of them, that's, that's a real pain in the butt to do on untap. So let me tell you the way I, I found Let's say the quest says, reveal the top five, you know, pick an ability. I'm going to click the deck, and hit draw two. And I'll put it in the expel zone, which is basically like exile or remove from game, but trust me, it'll work for now. So I'll put one, two, three, four, five into the expel. Maybe I'm completing a quest here. And it says, look for an ability, and put that into my hand. Cool, I got an ability, so I'll just drag that into my hand. There, it's done. So now I have these other four cards that are, usually they have to go to the bottom of the deck. That's what those types of effects will tell you to do, put them in the bottom of the deck. So, just to reiterate, this is my hand. There's a lot of cards in my hand for this tutorial. 
Uh, I can go over here and click on this zone. Just click the card, not the lines, but click the zone itself. And that will bring it up here in this bottom section. And now there's a set of lines over here which interacts with that expel zone. If I click that and I can hit send all to, that means I can send all these cards to the top of the deck or the bottom of the deck, whatever whatever effect you might need. So let's say the quest told me to put them on the bottom of the deck. I click that and they all get placed there. And it closes the expel zones for me. And that's it. You know, I, I drew my card from the quest. The rest got put back to the bottom of the deck. This is really important if you're on iPads because on an iPad you really have to learn to use like clicking hotkeys because trying to click things one by one on an iPad is not gonna work out well for you. Just just trust me. You can also create copies of cards in case you, you need that effect. Just a normal click on here and then I'll hit clone card. Here's the clone in case maybe my opponent spawned a clone of it or something like that. That's totally fine. Um, if my opponent's not paying attention and I'm trying to get his, his attention for something I can click this which has H. H is the hotkey. It means shake. So you do this and your opponent is, oh, that's right, I've, you know, I'm getting countered or whatever you want to do. H to shake. Let's say your opponent's done, he concedes or whatever. Um, if they're playing against me, they probably will concede. So then come down here to finish game and play another or finish game and leave. So I'll hit, let's say we're going to move to game two, finish game and play another. And it automatically scoops my deck up and shuffles it. Now, this new option pops up. This is for whoever hosted the game. So I can select another deck, keep the existing deck, or keep the same deck and go ahead and sideboard. Let's say we're going to go sideboard. Now whoever hosts your game gets control of this, this set of options over here. This is your game menu, and this is where you basically end the game, and you can have it automatically scoop everyone's deck up and reshuffle it. So let's do that. Let's say I won game one. My opponent says let's play another. I'll hit finish game, play another. And here I can change deck keep the same deck or keep the same deck and go into sideboarding. Uh, for now let's just say I'm keeping it as it is. And here it's already ready. I can hit uh, 7C to draw 7. Pre-shuffled. There's my hand. So I got a couple quests here. Got, got a lot of resources. Whatever. Here's, here's a hand. And let's say you needed to do something while you're playing. You wanted to go basically Alt-Tab. You can Alt-Tab within the browser. Click this button here which is alt n y -A or alt tilde and I can go back to the lobby here I can go change my decks it's not gonna update while you're playing but if you reload it I do believe it will so this is where you can mess with all that just keep in mind you're not in the game so if your opponent's trying to talk to you or something you're just like not responding I think that's why untap suggested everyone enable notifications when um, when they first when you first start using the website I'll just hit enter game go back in the game here so the game is still live uh, that's untapped. You know, it's, it's got a few things with it, but overall, I think it's it's pretty cool. It works well. Uh, oh, taking damage. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. So this hero starts with 29. I can I can right click to set my health to 29, and we can try and do it that way. But really, in Wild TCG, you're putting damage on. You're not counting down like magic. So if we're doing this the right way, I think the easiest way to do this is to click a card and go to Add Counter and just click it once. You don't have to add the number on there. Just, just click the button Add Counter starts off with a zero and now you can left or right click this to add up like if my opponent hit me for five there you go I'm at five maybe I heal two down to three and you can do this for any card like if I play an eye of the storm which this is not but I could start ticking that up every turn if it was an eye of the storm by just left clicking on it um, these counters are again kind of a pain on on iPads but this works great on on a browser and it's free anyone can play this Whatever card you hover over, you can press the Z or Zulu key to exhaust or tap the card. It will also exhaust and tap all cards that are touching this card. So let's, let's be more specific. Let's say I have this quest in play and this other quest over here, and I want to pay two for this card. I can hover over this because these two resources are touching. If I just hover over one and tap Zulu, it'll tap both of them. If I draw a box and, and try and go through all that, I don't know if that stuff works, but... Yeah, let's not do that. What does work is having the resources touch. And so if I have this one touch the center one, it'll tap all three. If I hover this card on the right, it's not actually touching this quest over here. So it only taps the ones that are touching to it. So these are the kind of things you're going to have to learn. I'm trying to speed speed you up in that process. You can play this game without voice. I recommend it. using voice. It's fun. It makes it easier. You get to actually interact with your opponent instead of just like a 
like a Hearthstone avatar who spams stuff at you. So what you can do, you've got no response. This type of thing is good if your opponent's playing a counterspell deck or a lot of instant speed reactions. Or an alert responses for this if your opponent does have a lot of things going on and they want to counter this. No responses is good for it. Uh, you know, your, your spell resolves. I don't have any response. You can also go in here in the chat and click this little bubble. So all I did was hover the chat window and hover this little speech bubble. And you've got these three pre-generated ones. Good game, thinking, or another game. Thinking is the one you'll probably use if if your deck is like, hold on, I have I may have something. Let me just tell this person that I'm playing against them. I'm thinking, just give me a moment. Then you play out the decision and then you know maybe you pay two and kill this thing or whatever. When the game's all done, uh, I can come over here, finish game, and play another. And then maybe this time my opponent will say, uh, let's change it up. So let's select another deck. I'll go with... Why not? Rogue, sure. I'll click it, he's in. And just hit 7C to draw 7. Or click the deck. There's always a click option available. Alright, another way to change your deck is to click on this and hit change deck. Um, scoop is how you just scoop the deck up and pick another one. Uh, you can do flip top if you have any type of cards that do that. Okay, let's talk about flipping your hero. That happens in WoW TCG. If you want to flip your hero, the right way to do that is to click your hero and do the alt face, like alternate face. And there, I flipped. If I can click it again, and I can hit uh, default face, so it goes from alt face to default face. If you tell it to go face down, it'll just look like this. Nice card. I want it to go face up. This is what I want it to look like. Now, not every card, uh, something happened with the heroes on the import process. Again, this was all just uh, human volunteers putting all this together. Um, some of the heroes did not import properly and therefore don't have their hero flip in the game yet. They, they basically only have the front side, not the back side of it. So while we're still figuring that out, you can actually update that yourself. There's some methods to go through. Or you can just have it available for the both players to look at. So just keep that in mind, okay? And bear with us while we're working through this new system. We're so happy to have that it's free and anyone can join in. It's, uh, it's awesome. I'm expecting a lot of new players. Uh, another thing you can do if you're in a browser, at least on Windows, you can tap F11. That will full screen your browser. F11 to get back out of that. And uh, here's, here's the Discord. This is pretty much where we organize games. Uh, you can also organize them on the untap, but there's obviously more people on the Discord. So here's our Discord, and we're looking at the Looking for Game channel. And this is where people organize games. There's plenty of activity in here, and I'm hoping that more of you will join in, and uh, we'll have lots of regular games. I appreciate it. This has been Brad for uh, bringing you some more WoW TCG fun. Hope to see you in the game.